Yes, Shusaku played a lot on OGS in his day. I heard it was his favorite server, actually. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Shusaku wouldn't play on Fox. I mean, he, he, he's a true Chad. <laughs> he supports the English-speaking community. <laughs> So this game, okay, so like you, I remember on stream you read out the context of this game and it sounded epic. It I'm sounded... going to read it again. Okay, okay. All right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, before, actually, before I, I read it out, let me give some background on who Shusaku is, who Otoyusa is. Uh, Shusaku, Honenbo Shusaku is, is how, you know, most people know his name. Um, he became the, the head of the Honenbo house pretty young, and that's like a hereditary thing. So actually what it means is... Honenbo Shua. Uh, was his dad? And Honenbo Shuko, I think. Those were the two people before him. So the like you could think of them as grandfather, father figure in, in you know this kind of okay. uh, house setup. And uh, they named him heir when he was like uh, 17 or 18 years old because he was a prodigy. And then they both died like really fast. So, Brad, but you uh, killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> he got assassins out yeah he, he became head of the Honinbo house very young um, which doesn't actually mean anything for, for ghost skill but oh, he was a hell of a go player I mean he won all of his castle games all 19 castle games right what, what is a castle game besides it probably the, being p- played in a castle right so castle games is um, Japan's emperor uh, at, at, at the time, would would bring um, all the players in and play once a year. They would bring all the players in, and everyone uh, plays a game for the enjoyment of the emperor. Is the, is the is the point? And they pick out like the the best game to show him sometimes. Um, uh-huh. And uh, sometimes, if the game goes long, then they would finish it off in some house somewhere. But for the majority, they they all get played like in the castle, and it's only the uh, seven dons and a couple six dons of the day. So back then, there was no uh, professional don ranking. If you're a don, you're a professional. That's that's how it was, right? Mm. Um, and the handicap system worked a little different as well because there was no komi, right? That's true. Uh, so everyone, if you had black, you had an advantage, and everyone knows that, right? So the handicap was. Um, okay, you can play black white, or um, if you knock your opponent, if you, if you start beating your opponent, you're like I don't know, uh, ten versus five, ten wins, five losses to them, then they would say, okay, you get black one third of the time, and the other guy gets white two thirds of the time. So you would play uh, black white black black white black that sort of thing. And uh, then yeah yeah yeah. After there, if they go to the next handicap up then it's black, 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 black. They just give you basically uh, no coming, right? And the next handicap up after that is alternating black and two stones, and then it's two stones. So they, they do this sort of thing where they go uh, steps, right? They go steps. Yeah, that steps. makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. And so that's what it, one Don ranking was supposed to mean in general. Um, is Okay, you become a pro, you become a pro one Don, and then a two Don would be able to give black, white, black, black, white, black to a one Don. And then a three don gives uh, black, black, uh, black, black, black to a one don. And then a four don gives black and then two stones, that sort of thing. Is it safe um, to assume that a one don back in the day is extremely better than a one don today? Surely. Extremely like, better, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. A one don back in the day would probably be nine don fox. We are yeah. truly, the ranks have truly inflated the last <laughs> couple of years. Right. I mean, it's pro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Actually, now that I think maybe a one down would be eight down fox, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so okay, then for Shusaku and Otayusa. So Shusaku won all of his castle games, every single one of his castle games, um, all nineteen of them. That's okay. you know explicitly only the seven down players are invited, which is like head of houses and extremely strong players, and then a couple six downs are invited, right? So th- there's no easy games in the castle games, and he just won every single one of them. Ota Yuzo did not play castle games. Because castle games were played in the Emperor's, like, castle, and uh, that meant that there were some very, very strict dress codes and, like, um, formality sort of things. You had to shave your head. Ota Yuzo 
was a Chad. He didn't want to shave his head. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> he said, no way I'm going to uh, uh, shave my head. I mean, uh, he was popular with the ladies. He actually went around. He had a life. And uh, he didn't play any castle games because he didn't want to shave his head once a year. <laughs> what a Chad. What a Chad, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because of that, he just played, um, maybe you would call them more casual games or, or matches outside of the castle games for his life. And uh, he, despite that, he was you know clearly number, number two of the time, Shusaku's greatest rival. Um, and this game is from the San Jubango that they played against each other. San 3, like San San, Jubango 10-game <laughs> match, right? So this is a 30-game match that they played against each other. Jesus. In, uh, let's see, uh, 1853. There you go. So uh, I guess they were both in early 20s around us, around this point. Oh, that's not as that's not as long as ago as I thought. I thought this was like 1600s, 1700s or something. That's like 150, 170 years ago ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, these guys were surprisingly close to like Go Sagan's era, right? Yeah, uh, these guys, and then you know, uh, their kids are living up and, and growing up and meeting Go Sagan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought this was like ancient fucking ancient Rome Greek. You know, they invented right. the wheel shit, but... Ah, Shogun, this... not Emperor Moko. She corrected me by the... But yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah. in front of the Shogun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes that makes more sense. It was, you know, some authority figure. I don't care that much about Japan. <laughs> <laughs> we're here for the go, baby. We're here for the go. So, all right. So far in the match, the, this is the game 17 of the Sanju Bango. Sanju Bango. Um, <laughs> so far in the match... There, uh, Shusaku is leading by three, so they've played sixteen games, and there was I think there was one draw. Um, uh, yeah, I think there was one draw, and then other than that, you, you can work on the score yourself. But Shusaku is leading by three. If you start leading by four in a Sanju Bango, then you hit your opponent to the to handicap. Um, he doesn't. So this was the game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this was the game where where Shusaku is going to try to put Otayusa on handicap. Notably, Shusaku is white, right? Ota Yuzo is, is black, so, and there's no Komi, um, of course. All right. Awesome. So I'm ready. Let me give the specific game description, just, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, sure, <laughs> Just sure. a little bit more background. Yeah. The game below is considered one of the classics of the Edo period, and it is probably the second most famous game after the irreddening game that Shusaku played. It is a favorite anthology piece in Japan. And in particular, it is remembered for Shusaku's innovative play in the Fuseki. In this game, Shusaku finally forced his leading rival to the handicap of Senai Sen, which is black white black, so that it could justly be regarded as the climax of his career. Once Shusaku vanished, vanquished Yuzo, he was left with no serious rivals to challenge his supremacy. Let's go. Damn. So, um... I couldn't, well, I could find an SGF on GoBase, but I would have to pay for it. So I have to uh, put the moves on from the book. I didn't look ahead of time so that, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise, but I might spoil myself accidentally by, you know, just looking in the area and you see how this move was paid 42 or something, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's, all right. Yeah. So Black starts with 5-3. This is Ota Yuzo's favorite opening move. And uh, Shusaku plays a 5-3 of his own. At the time, this was normal. Okay. Uh, this, this wasn't that far out of whack. In these days, you'd be saying, are they trolling? You know, this, this is the AI percentage for sure. But they didn't care, right? They didn't know that. Um, so Black takes an enclosure right away. And at these days, this is fine as well. You can play an enclosure or you can play an open corner. Apparently, they're supposed to be the same. It's not true now, but you know, yeah, they didn't know. And white takes this corner. Black takes this corner. And White approaches here. This is what Sun would play, right? Uh, and, uh, yep. Smile. Yeah, I think so. Right? I mean, this is your favorite move to approach 5 3, from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. And, I uh, would enclose, though. Like, but, anyways. Yeah. Ah, okay. Fine. Right. You you don't want your 5 3 in the, in the lower right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Shusaku doesn't want it either. He plays here. Of course, they didn't fear the press at this moment. Yeah. Um, and Taisha happened a lot more. And also, this happened a lot more. So, this is the game. Okay. How would you deal with this if you were white? Right? You know, um, 
Wait, have I seen this game before? I hope not. I, maybe it's just of the era. They would do like D15. Um, no, they didn't do D15 in this game. Really? And they usually wouldn't, I think. Oh, I, uh, I would imagine like you make the bamboo and then you pincer the top stone. I thought that was what they, how they handled it sometimes. Um, uh, I think if you... Uh, oh, what was the reputation? If you make the bamboo, there's some, some sort of reputation somewhere, but I kind of forget. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, then other than that, I really don't know. Maybe, um... So, the common just like was this one. Yeah, that's what time. I was hovering over. Yeah. <clears throat> However, this game, Shusaku's innovative play in the Fuseki. He made, uh, he made a whole new idea. Oh? He played here, here, and then... Let me find 12. It's kind of uh, here. A whole new idea. It looks normal, right? But actually, um, let's see. In a letter to his, his father in Tonora, Shusaku wrote as follows. When black plays nine, the standard answers for white are, uh, wait, 11? Or wait, uh, bump. Yes, bump is, is normal to, to force the bamboo thing. That, uh, um, this yeah. used to be a Jiseki, right? So yeah. the point is, okay, a bump, it's bad shape, but you have a large knight move that just got split. Yeah. yeah this sort of thing. And then um, Shusaku said, uh, white 10, 12, and 14 are a new strategy. I spent six hours working out this combination. <laughs> in casually inventing a new move in six hours. So it was like <laughs> this, and black two-spaced, which is relatively normal, and white played here. This is 14. Hmm. This is what he was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> so. So, Shusaku's contribution, the 10 12 combination, is one of the few patterns to sur survive as a standard modern Jiseki, says Go Sagan. <laughs> Not modern anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't a bad idea, apparently. Mm, okay, and later on, um, Kitani Minoru invented a different move for this one. And then, wait, 14, the comment in the book is the only move. Nowadays, this move would be obvious, but for Shusaku's time, it was a novel concept. And is, is that, that obvious a, to you? Which, which move? E E16? <laughs> That's this pincer. Oh, the pincer. That exact pincer is not obvious at all. Um... It does feel really nice. I will say it does feel kind of nice, but I, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be thinking this is the, uh, this is the only move, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I have a feeling it, it probably isn't the only move, but um, you can understand <laughs> how, how um, a human would say, well, if you go on the, if you go low, this is much more normal for Shizaku. I should explain also for background in the Edo period. Uh, they didn't have um, they didn't have many players that were much stronger than them telling them this is good, this is bad, that sort of thing. And so because of that, when they are learning, they have to judge the games themselves and say, ah, oh, this was good, this was bad, and you know, this opening should work out well for me, this opening didn't work out for, well for me. And yeah. the easiest way to do that is counting, right? So in the Edo period, they super disrespected uh, influence moves in the opening. Because uh, when you count them a few moves afterwards, you're like, I'm behind. Right? Yeah. So they said, let's not just get, just, just don't get behind, forehead. Blade the territory moves so you don't get behind. <laughs> yeah? And of course, you, you can play influence moves. You can play moves like this that, that are really going for an attack already on these, on these two groups. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Um, yeah, I think that that uh, this move being high is like clear and obvious to us, right? Mm -hmm. We're thinking, well, yeah, this is this is normal. You play high in this kind of position, but it probably was not obvious to them. And the specific placement of here, rather than uh, closer to this side or closer to this side, uh, makes some sense as well, because if you play, so it, it, the stone was at uh, L fourteen, right? Suppose you pincer closer to this side, then you give black this move. Mm -hmm. And suppose you pincer closer to, the, to, to this side, then you give black this move. 
Yeah. So that, I think that's why he says, this is the only me. Because if Backface here, he's saying, ah, oh, it's going to be small. And if, if you know, Backface on the other side, that's going to be small. Mm-hmm. And White still has those follow-ups for sure. Right? You know, White, White can easily play this move and feel good. Yeah. Yeah, that is really nice. I, I like that. So L16 um, is the only move. It's huh. supposed to be obvious. Smile. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so Black makes this exchange, 15-16, and then runs out with uh, Knight's move. Yeah, that's... Where would you play next this way? That's nice. Um, so, a- after these exchanges, I mean, I- I'm kind of feeling concerned about my group on the left. Mm-hmm. Uh, slightly. Slightly concerned, right? Yeah. Um... So I imagine we take care of it somehow. Right? Yeah, I think so. And uh, I gotta be honest, I looked at the book by accident. I saw I saw the next move. Damn it. Um, you take care of the group. In a, um, you take care of the group in a way that feels um, like, like a... slow. In a way that feels comfortable. So, for example, you probably looked at this one, right? That this, was this kind first of... thought. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks fine, but, you know, uh, black can play here, mm-hmm. and black shape is fine. I mean, um, black can even uh, abstain or, or play this kind of thing. And uh, I don't think black's under pressure. I don't think black's going be, gonna to be wrong here. Mm-hmm. Shusaku plays, uh, somewhat surprisingly to me, Shusaku plays this first, <sighs> and then here. When you said flow, that's what I thought of, like, making an exchange and then kick. But, uh, mm. just Hane. That's so good about it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just I think, I think that the point is, uh, if you kick here first, mm-hmm. black can play to this side somewhere. Later on, you do this sort of thing, black will play here for sure. For sure. Yeah. And you play here, and Black's like, yeah, take that stone. So, what White did is play, before he kicked in the corner, to make this C15 stone light, he played this exchange uh, in order to make it heavy, in order to make this group all connected, and then play here. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's an awesome exchange. And the idea idea behind it is, is really nice. Yeah, and Go Sagan's commentary is a good forcing move before defending the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forehead. <laughs> Forehead. <laughs> so Black jumps here. Now what for White? <clears throat> How are you going to handle this fight? Excuse me. Oh, well. So... We answer Q14. Q14 once or twice. Let him cap us. Okay. So in the Edo period, they believed a lot more in, in things. <laughs> so if you play, um, no, I mean this is actually a pattern from their games. I know this. If you play like this, okay, and you get capped in other yeah. period, they believe this is really terrible, because um, we would say, okay, black isn't that strong here. You know, this this kind of shape still has holes. Yeah. They would say you have to prove it. it otherwise, this is this is. Black strong, black attacking, unless you are going to be breaking out something like this or this quickly. Yeah? yeah. So basically to them, this doesn't look like just cap and then you'll handle the group somehow. AI always finds a way to, to end up using these weaknesses, right? When it, when it defends a group like this. But to, to them, they think, well, probably I'm not going to be really getting very much from running out. So this might as well look like this. Hmm. In which case you don't go for it, right? Yeah. So they believed a lot more in uh, in that kind of attack bearing fruit. So I don't think that they, they yeah. would play here. If you wanted to play a move on the on the upper right side to defend the corner somehow, I think they would play here, which I think is possible. Mm-hmm. Basically, not giving Black the the the, uh, the potential moves to you know thicken his shape. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. 
I like, yeah, again, like, this is really nice to look at these games that aren't, like, outside the influence of AI, because you really, I like the thought process. I like seeing the thought process behind it all. This is nice. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Black, uh, Wait said, no, 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 I don't care. Wait said, I play here. What? Oh, just putting pressure on Black suit? Yeah, he's saying, hey, Black, you want to go there? Fine, I kill you. Yeah. So that seems pretty big, right? <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe you shouldn't die and play here. And Shusaku says this was a good exchange. Okay. Um, basically meaning, uh, Black, you could have pushed like this. You could have pushed and cut. In which case, I gain this. You can give me this extra influence, and then I come back to attack you here. This is his his other plan, right? And so Black said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to give you that sort of stuff. Uh, he just jumped here very normally. And in that case, Wade is saying, "All right, I made some. I made some good exchange. This Kasumi is working out well, and uh, you know the attack on these three stones can come can come mm. later." So he mm. played like that, and then he played two space. Ah. Okay. What's the two space? Well. Hmm. So when you're looking at this, is this uh, like a kifu of like the whole game on one page, or is it like spread across multiple pages? No, figure one is one through forty, and then um, yeah, figure two is forty-one through eighty-eight. That sort of thing. Oh, nice. And there's a bunch nice. of diagrams too of you know il illustrating things that I might copy and, and play. All right, cool. Oh, by the way, let's comment here. Let's comment on this one from Go Sagan. Wait twenty-two is a superb move, which forces Black into a low position on the side. Yuzo should not have let Shusaku play there, but seeing it was the first time that he or any Go player was confronted with this position, one cannot criticize him too harshly. The standard modern Joseki for Black twenty-one is shown in uh, in diagram one. Ah, he's supposed to play here. What? Oh. And so black one is a sacrifice to Suji. To capture it, White has to sacrifice a stone himself with two. This, and then uh, White and Atari. And then to capture it, he has to play here. This is how, uh, this is the only way White can capture it, because otherwise it's going to be Mii between these two threats for black. Right? Mm -hmm. Then black is to capture this stone, and White can defend the corner. And, uh, this means that white cannot press anymore with a move like this. Because black will not die. Right? Yeah. Interesting. Interest that's super interesting. That C18 feels like it's out of the Suji book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this ha actually happens a lot also in, in modern games, to be honest. When there's this kicking shape, it happens all the time, right? If you can get this move, which happens all the time as well, then this is the vital point in the corner to aim at, you know, to aim at both sides. Mm -hmm. Oof. Uh, this is what Yuzo was supposed to play, apparently. But, you know, he just played the standard move like this. And Shusaku punished not playing C18 by playing here. That's the idea. Huh. So he got this one forcing exchange before Black could settle himself or anything like that, and then played here. <sighs> I wouldn't have even thought of D11, right? It's insane. That is insane. And, like, the fact that it's, like, a good exchange because of, like, missing that, uh, god. But it doesn't feel, like, horrible for Black, honestly. Feels fine. Just slightly good for White. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. But... Yeah. You say slightly good for weight, but remember, no Komi. Yuzo is winning. <laughs> At this level, you know, imagine imagine if, if uh, you know, Park Shing Wan played Shin Jin So, no Komi. <laughs> They'd just be winning. You you wouldn't you wouldn't even talk about the game. They just solidify it, thicken it, no no problem, right? Um, True. True. So still black always plays somewhat conservatively in these kinds of games and white always plays aggressively you know this kind of move i don't think you would see black play ever in edo period but white white could play this move right uh, really going for an attack and yeah that sort of thing okay okay so uh yeah we're on move 24 black plays where do you think we're gonna go i think well 
all of a sudden my my four stones on the upper side feel somewhat lonely so i would want to add like a stone stone there somehow maybe um i have no idea where i have no idea where like i kind of want to cap but yeah i'm looking at cap two but then i'm thinking okay wait jump something like this yeah and uh you know <laughs> what's happening with this stuff right yeah exactly so maybe you move even like j17 or j16 but that feels weird i don't know yeah, those seem small is the problem because yeah. your knights moved already and then your knights yeah. move is counteracted by those moves yourself yeah? exactly hmm. i guess you just play nothing there then in tanuki All right uh I think this was a somewhat common follow-up in the day, something like that, oh. to press. It could it could happen. Um, I guess I would still think about playing here, but I don't expect them to. Okay, mm. uh, they played. Ah, uh, they played here and here. Ah, oh. still cap. Cap, yeah. I mean, they still believe basically this this kind of stone is going to get in danger, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And so Shusaku just jumps, and he's putting pressure. He's putting this latent pressure on 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 Black. Of course, he's under attack first, right? But then uh, Black also has some shape problems to worry about. Where would you go now? We have to follow this up. <clears throat> well, he certainly has a plan. Uh... Could we reasonably peep and then fix our shapes or like play K15 and then hope to get H15 right after? Mm. So I would want to do that to avoid like the attach at K14. Right. Rather seems than like a plan. But of course you could try to resist and it gets complicated. Right. Um, I have a feeling in Edo period they probably wouldn't resist like that. Because uh, they're thinking... You let me push through? True. And, uh... I guess even this is working. I mean, like, here, 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 and cut? No, it's not working. Never mind, because you have this and then capture, but... Okay. Exciting things. <laughs> this one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe they would push here. It does look a little difficult to deal with sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. Certainly an opponent on Fox would never connect. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so in the book... Push. Back this year. Wow. So we were thinking, you know, this is the shape problem, and yeah. we, we wanted to fix it like this. We wanted to fix it towards the upper side. Yeah. He says, no, 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 no. Fix it towards the uh, left side because that's contact fighting. Right? And he's actually threatening something here. He's threatening this and then disconnecting yeah. these, this stone. Yeah. Wow. I, that was so off my radar as even a move. Like, wow, I didn't even consider it. Like, surely I should yeah, consider a move like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, play. we basically said one space jump. What are all the, the moves that you can play towards one space jump? We didn't even consider playing not towards one space jump. Yeah, right? yeah. Patient attacking, I guess. Patient attacking again. I mean, how how are you going to get profit if you just play moves around here? Yeah. Right? You play this move, you get profit. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. I like that. Ota Yuzo. Ota Yuzo. Really, Chad. True Chad, true Chad. <laughs> mm. So White plays this move next. I think that's completely normal. That's what yeah. you would do, right? Yeah. Seems and super uh, reasonable. Black, you would expect to to play hmm. something something over here. Yeah, I definitely yeah, hundred percent. See, In the book he jumps, <laughs> so that seems fine. Okay. And where was here, so finishing this shit over there. That's reasonable. Light they really like 
uh, ending positions with clean shape, like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's very rare, actually, to see this kind of uh, clean shape, meaning basically no Aji in a modern pro game or modern amateur game. Yeah? But in Edo period game, it happened a lot. And I think the reason why is because they can they can read to this kind of position. just And modern pros can read to this kind of position, too. And then... Um, they feel something from it, right? Back then, when, when they're humans, they say, ah, Black, let me get this. How can't I win this game? <laughs> right? You know, in modern day, it's all about efficiency. The, 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 the Korean way is, it's all about efficiency. You're like, ah, my stone here is, you know, it's alive again, or it's, you know, it's doing this again. And so you fight to make your, your stones efficient. Mm -hmm. Back in this day, the, so, so when they evaluate, right? When they evaluate... Um, the, the the modern way is to evaluate saying, ah, my stone here is, is looking good. Uh, it must be good for me. But back then, they, they said, you know, look at the board state as a whole. The white shape is looking good. So white is more efficient. So white is winning, right? Yeah. Wow. So that's why you can play a move like H17 a lot of the time in, in Edo period. I think, you know, in modern day, we would say, uh, H17, maybe it'll end up slow. Maybe you can try, not not that move, but maybe you can try like this move and, uh, so, you know, some some way to, to to live efficiently by putting pressure on, on black. No, 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 no. Back then, they just play here. And it's true Saku, right? So it's not like this move is slow. He never plays slow moves. He just plays solid. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's awesome. That's really cool. Like, just get rid of your weakness. Just live. Forehead. Yeah. Right? Just live. Why not? Sick. So black follows up from the from the one space jump. I think it's normal. And uh, wait, Hane's back. I think oh. it's normal. But what happens next is not so normal. This one, this is asking to press white down and make a nice black shape in the center, right? So this kind of thing mm -hmm. is what black is asking for. And then I don't know what you would do next. In modern game, you'd play here, right? But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so here, here, here. Shusaku says. Screw that. <laughs> Hell no. Answer me once. If you extend, then I'll play here. Ah. My shape is good. And so Ota Yuzo, of course, is like, Hell no. <laughs> you think I can do that? No way. I oh, shit. We're trading now. Let's go. We're trading. Mm. And White says, All right, I captured the pin key. Sure. And Black plays... Wait, what? Oh. Here. Huh. So this is strengthening... Uh, or getting... Uh, trying to, yeah, get some thickness to delete the uh, Samaji in the corner by leaning on the top group. Mm, Weird way of yeah. doing it, I think. Is it? Uh... uh so, if he didn't do, wait, if he didn't do something here, so suppose he played here, the greedy way, right? That's the greedy way? That's what I was looking at. That's the greedy way? That feels no, normal. I mean, greedy way is in you defend yourself and also you take territory. It yeah. doesn't mean greedy is bad, it just means like, you know, okay, this okay. Is the biggest territory move to defend yourself. Fair. Um, what, what would White do after this? Is it going to be... I wonder if there's a comment. Oh, there's a bunch of comments that we missed. Ah. Uh. Okay, there is going to be a comment to, to show. Ah, it was, it was something there. So I think you could play here. It's possible. And yeah. Zach just did this one instead. So 37 like this. And then Black is going to defend. This is the end of my figure, so I won't show exactly how. I have to turn the page. Mm. Um. Go Sagan says, okay, if uh, it is painful to have to play this move, but uh, for it helps White strengthen his group, but Black has to reinforce the corner. If he omits it, something over here, then this, this, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, bam. Waiting. You can't really fix it. 
Suppose you Atari here and Atari here. This is the most normal sequence, right? Mm-hmm. Then I Atari here. Hang on a second. GG. Quickest castle game ever. Yeah. Yeah, it just shows out this the the rest of this variation in, in the book. Okay. So, um, Ghost Egan says, "No, no, no, can't do that. You'd have to play here." And then, what does this one? <laughs> You'd have to play here. Oh god. What does this one? You'd have to play here. What does this one? You'd have to answer, because what's starting is S seventeen. You have to play here. No way in hell you can allow this, <laughs> right? No way, no way, no way. But the cool thing, the cool thing that I think uh, we both missed was here, cut works. Yeah. Right? This yeah. is the actually standard. Um, when it comes to how you're generally supposed to take advantage, I have a stone here. It's mostly dead, but there's a little bit of Aji. How do I make something out of it? I play just a little bit too enterprisingly. And I say, okay, normally this wouldn't work. For... I like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, normally this wouldn't work for white, but uh, here, how is black going to hold everything? There's just a little bit too much, right? This this stone's threats by themselves did nothing. However, you get into a fight like this, they're adding something. They're adding something huge, right? Mm-hmm. So I think this is a something that we can learn from as well. Mm-hmm. That's the threat. And so Ota Yuzo had to fix, and I think we would both probably have fixed like this, but he chooses to fix... This way. Okay. Which does make him thicker. I, I, I don't know. And so 41. Back plays this one. Descend. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Gosagan says connecting here would be safer, but White would later be able to play uh, here, here, and here in Sente. Oh, what? No, no, not here. Sorry, this one. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what? What? Black just, you know, Atari is. In... But okay, here and then this one is Sente because uh, threatening this. Yeah, and then this is, you know, very annoying territorially. Back then, they, you know, they count to to understand the game. You play this way, and you ha- you have to like respond. It. So you can imagine this kind of shape, then count. Right? Black has a corner. 10 points. And. 17. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and white has this kind of corner, this kind of shape, and this this kind of shape. You might even say white is a head with no gomi. Right? Yeah. No way he's going to do something that territorially insensitive. He plays here. Hmm. Obviously, it allows white things in the center. White pushes through, makes this exchange, and then pushes through. And uh, Tanuki uses it at this moment. Okay, where to? Hmm. Oh, I, I would say the bottom. That feels big hmm. to me. Although, I guess, it, are we done yet on like the upper left? Ah, maybe not. So, actually, Black still has this threat, right? Yeah. Do they cure his group? Um, so, maybe we just connect or something like, uh, yeah, this one? D12. Maybe. maybe. Oh, that was the game move. Woo, solid, baby. Let's go. Shusaku. Let's go, yeah. Call him the loving Shusaku. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, after this... Mm, now what for black? I w- oh. Thank you for the follow guy. Hey, hey. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> well. I, n- after those exchanges top right, I mean the center does feel like a problem top left for black. So I want to throw a stone on the board up there. Um, where exactly though? Where exactly? Hmm. I don't know. G11? Is that unreasonable? 
I think it's fine. Although I know, guess if I was playing, I would I would go somewhere bigger because uh, okay, what attacks you here? Big deal. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. attacks you here? Big deal. So whenever you're thinking, I should run out with a group. And then you're like, well, I could run out in two different ways. I'm not entirely sure which is yeah. better. Then you should think, I can run out in two different ways. That might put an attack me in one, then it's two. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's, a, that's a common thought process. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I'd probably end up going to the lower side. That was my probably first idea. Too. 48. Hmm. Black plays. Ah, black plays here. Which I, I suppose is, is fine. It's actually maybe more than fine. This is turning into influence. We were saying it's a weak group. Suddenly it's influence, right? How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that fixes all the problems. Well, not all, but there's still a cut. Yeah. Uh, and I saw, actually, I saw that White aimed at the cut with this move, which is kind of interesting as well. Basically, I guess the point of this one is, okay, you go to the lower side, <clears throat> and Black plays something here. You have to respond, actually. Or you kind of feel bad if you don't respond. Mm-hmm. It's kind of annoying, right? Just generally annoying. And uh, Black can start to, to to gain something with his weak group. That's no fair. <laughs> right? <laughs> so instead of doing that, we build, actually, like this. So we never have to defend ourselves. And nice big box. Look at that. Yeah, I love that for white. I wonder if N14 was way too slow. It feels nice, but um, I wonder if that was like, you just can't do that. Let's see. Because after this, it's like, um, wow, this look is looking really good for white. So, Gosegan says, Black adds yet another reinforcement. Taking the Oba, Oba meaning uh, shared opening side point uh, down here, mm-hmm. um, at the bottom seems more urgent, but according to Ishida Yoshio, Black is worried about the Aji shown in diagram 11. Let's oh. show the Let's show diagram 11 here. So oh, okay. Ishida Yoshio says, you play here, then white is going to cut, uh, back will capture, and jump. Uh, oh, God. Is that anything? And uh, if white manages to seal black in with, with A and B, so this is after white gets some moves here. Mm. Um, he can play one and three in the corner, forcing black to add a lot of stones to take white off the board. So you can play these moves in the corner. And uh, yeah, the point is that black actually doesn't have any eyes. So if you play A and B, then black has to capture these. Huh. So that's apparently why Ishiri Yoshi says that black can, can play here first. Is black is already seeing in the corner... There could be some problems. This is extreme tactical awareness, right? There could be some problems with cuts and here. This obviously dies, right? Yeah. No chance of living. Yeah. However, uh, Black notices that he would have a false eye here and that he would have no eyes. So he plays here. Because, you know, if uh, if you play on the bottom side, it, it doesn't mean that White would do that right away. But if, if you play on the bottom side and then this happens, then you have to run because of that and you run against this kind of panuki it sucks true true so that's why in the game you play this move that's kind of cool right yeah yeah they're seeing this extreme it's advanced anji maneuvering yeah yeah, okay so the reason for that move is not obvious not obvious at all yeah here so White does this one. Actually, Ghost Sagan has another point. Uh, white 50, so this knight's move, is certainly a big point, but White could also consider jumping out um, at A. Splitting back into two groups. Since White has reinforced himself already with 48, meaning... Um, D12? This move. Yeah. Yeah. He should have the edge over Black in any fighting. A further advantage of attacking with A is that it would give White a chance to strengthen his group at the top. When Black plays 51, so that's the next move coming up, Black plays here. Wow. White has some bad Aji. Ah. Oh. That's what Gosegan says. White has some bad Aji on the top side there. Okay. 
So apparently this move, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. But actually, yeah. So move over here, it feels very powerful, right? As uh, as black, I'm, I'm a, I feel under a lot more pressure. Actually, it's not so hard to play um, to play this move as black, yeah? Like, what else are you going to do? After white plays this, it's very clear that when they come out, your stones here have a cut. And, and yeah. the algae that we saw before, yeah. Yeah. So this is just very well nullifying this move as well, you could think of it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, but after this, wait, finally goes to the to the bottom side. I'm surprised they left it so long. Usually they, 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 they're greedy. They go for the sides very quickly. <laughs> and um, I accidentally saw the book sequence because it's very, very local. They played here, 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 and here. This okay. is very, 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 very common in Edo area. This sequence. It doesn't uh, seem and... too too odd. No, it, it's not too odd at all. And it's actually surprisingly good. I think a lot of people would be like, well, White is behind in this fighting. Wait, they're going to move on the second line. And uh, it's not even connected, really. Right? So you'd be thinking, ah, I can, how can this possibly be, be that good? But, um, you know, after you get shoulder hit, uh, y if you end up under no pressure and territorially ahead, and black still doesn't have that much strength in the stones, it was a success. So, here we go. Hmm. Dude, I'm already liking this game a lot for white. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? The Fuseki was amazing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff? This this innovation? Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. The whole upper side was super interesting. Like, I don't know, all of a sudden, Black is just behind. He's like, oh, I have right? Aji fixing my Aji, and oh, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, there's not even, like, some obvious mistake or anything. He's just like, all of a sudden, I don't know. But it's not Black, over uh, Black basically ended up investing in this group being weak, so he has to show that at some point, right? Uh, um, yeah. that's, his, that's his compensation. Well, we'll see if that can actually come and bear fruit. Okay, so where would you play next as Black, though? Here. <sighs> wow, it, it's hard to find a good spot. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of want to just turn at J5, but I, I can't bring myself to a feels too slow. Um, you end up playing moves in the center, right? So you play J5, you're, you're, you're setting yourself up to be a little even further behind. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Something like this happens. Okay, you got influence. But White has that. Yeah. Right? So you can't turn. Um, if you go to the right right away, maybe shoulder hit again at 04? Um, That's the modern move, but I would expect actually this in Edo area. Ah. Right? Yeah. But that, that direction um, to make another reduction. Um, other that than that, there's also like D10. That'd be the only other thing I would think of. Maybe. D10 is possible, I suppose, to, to help out this group, but uh, I wouldn't really I wouldn't really expect it because it seems a lot easier for White to 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 reduce anything that you build here than yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah that's true. So I guess my my guess for the move is P5, but we'll see what they do. Okay. Um, ah, Black attaches here. <sighs> All right. So they didn't know about over-concentration, of course, right? That was Huang Longsha, who invented that hundreds of years before these guys were alive, right? So uh, they knew well what over-concentration meant. I expect they played. Ah, well, actually, uh, White plays this one. Shusaku does this one, even. Connects. Actually, I think that Modern Pro might do this one, too. I, I understand. It's very strange. Normally, AI always says, play here, right? But in this board state, Black is going to do this one. I think, and say, go ahead and come me. Come me. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. And fix some new. Uh, actually, this is a wild success for Black, in my opinion. Like, Black's True. mission was to break this area. Whoa, 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 this is totally broken. True. Right? So, actually, basically, the S4 move ends up not really in the important direction. The important part in, in this board state it seems to be that we use this Moyo to keep an attack here and an attack here. Right? Oh shit, so that's like a direction move, Q4. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, that's sick. 
I like. I would never think of that. I would brain dead play S four, a hundred percent of the time. I wouldn't even consider the direction of it. Wow, that's super interesting. Chat, y'all see that? This is sick. I feel like my brain's being pried open, <laughs> and knowledge <laughs> is being poured in. This is awesome. Okay, just straight up connect. Yeah, for sure. I love that. And deal with it is black. Actually, I'm looking around for black news. It looks. So annoying, right? What do you do? <laughs> AI disagrees. Yeah, AI probably hates it all. AI probably hates it all. It's the idea, though. The idea behind it, right? I I mean, um, regardless of what the AI says, the point of the game is to put, you know, pressure on your opponents, right? To to make the, uh, to make the game difficult for the other human to play, right? That's how you win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> S four is really easy to deal with. Uh, you just sacrifice, I think. I, I, ba I basically, I don't think that it's even um, that the plans are that hard. But this one, you have a burden. You might fail. Mm -hmm. You know, AI never fails, but but human, you might fail. Hmm. Wow. Something. Maybe still P seven. Yeah, I was thinking maybe still P seven, but it's so much sadder when black when white gets this move, right? It really is. It's so much sadder. So maybe here? This kind of peep. Obviously I don't expect white to respond, but uh after that I think I can find some maybe decent way to give up these two stones or something like that. I don't know. It's an idea. What do they play? They play Ah, they do play. They they play the nice move anyway. Okay. Yeah. And it is so much sadder when when White goes here. Like it, actually, it is significantly worse. However, this isn't what happens in the game. I can see the shape in the book, and so I imagine basically it would still be not very good uh, for White to do this kind of pushing thing. Okay. Because Black gets surrounding on the outside, so that means the nice move is legal, uh, which I didn't really <laughs> think of properly. Yeah, it's a reasonable move. White just attacks here, and mm -hmm. Black bumps, and then bamboos. This kind of shape, super obvious and simple. It happens so often in Chusaku's games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he likes doing this sort of thing. And he's saying, okay, Black, you don't have a base here. I got a base here. I got territory here. And you still have a weak group there. So, you know, uh, from the initial Moyo, um, Way has managed to get his territory profit already, and Black is still weak. Yeah. Hmm. Splitting move. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Some random move in the center. Yeah, Shusaku plays here. Very reasonable. Yeah. What would he do is back? Hmm. Hover over the resign button, honestly. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's no Komi. It's, it's still at least an even game, I think. No mm. Komi is, is good. This is also around the part of the game where you can start to feel uh, their their real power. This is where they become a lot better than me. <laughs> you know, in the <laughs> opening, I, I, in this game, the Fuseki is cool, so I'm not sure I would have played it better than them. But in most openings, they're, they're, they're not very good at the game. But at this moment, they're amazing. Um, they start you know, when they have off. a weak group to take care of, they, they really start popping off. They, they see every little... Uh, Aji, well, not every little Aji. When you review with AI, AI sees more. But uh, they see lots and lots of little Ajis that they completely miss, and they play around them in really nice ways. Mm. So they, they read something out, and they say, I have a resource here. I'm going to do something with regards to that that isn't just what I read out, but like this is where I got tactical awareness from. Okay, I'm looking at a few moves. My first feeling is to just straight up attach at N7. That's my first feeling, mm -hmm. but it feels like it's just going to get white stronger and my two stones at the lower side are going to get weaker. Right, you just split yourself more. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. you know, probably not. And then the other idea is actually P, P8, extend. Mm -hmm. And maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what you do, but maybe there's something still at the top right. You know, if white jumps mm. and you can actually... I mean, like this kind of thing. Yeah, something like that, but I don't see it exactly. Um, and other than that, I don't really... Maybe diagonal, but that... I don't know. No idea. 
Seems hard. Hmm. What did they play? They played Hane, Hane, and Hane, Hane. <laughs> Here. Uh, uh. It looks kind of like a meme, but actually, what does I do now? It... Just jump the center? Jump in the center? But then that gets like this annoying guitar, or uh, Hane T3, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not that annoying, right? Is it really? <laughs> Is but it really I, not? Outside, I mean, two stars are getting super. So you play here, then this, this, this. You, ha you have to defend. Otherwise, I Atari R3. And then here, and uh, oh, am I not alive even after that? Because you can just defend like this. So I have to spend one more move. I would do that on the lower side too. Just extend at S two. Ah. So you can't connect. Ah, I see. Okay. You can still. He has to play. So T7. still, if he does all this, then uh, he ah. gets life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, or, that's I guess weird. I guess you could play this first and, and get life that way as well. I guess it's also possible. So, hmm. if you jump and black just immediately lives in some way that isn't territorially too bad, I don't know if the jump was that good. Because we could, you know, use this later by, by tanukiing and waiting for it to get surrounded naturally. I guess if you had a clear plan on how to use that one space jump. But... Mm -hmm. I don't exactly have that, I guess. <laughs> Maybe just Atari then, T4. <laughs> Does seem reasonable. But I'm oh! Not... Ah, he did jump in the center. Oh! Let's go, boys! Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait a second. It was then like this, and he didn't back off S2, he played here. Ah! And this way. Okay. Like, like I showed. Yeah. And then Black did this one. Hmm. Let's see Go Sagan's commentary on this. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Help us, so, Go Sagan. White 72, a move that only Shusaku would play. Anyone else would accept the invitation to the Ko in Diagram 14. <laughs> Here. And this Ko. Uh, though Black 4 would complicate the position. He's talking about here. And then Black 4 is this attach. So you play Ko, and then this mm. one as your Ko threat. Oh. Jusaku must have assessed the overall position and concluded that he did not need to play the Ko to win, even though he's no Komu. Hmm. To be able to play like this, one would have to have Jusaku's superb positional judgment. He preferred to win peacefully when he could, before because starting a fight often gives the opponent unexpected chances to get back in the game. True. Hmm. So basically, uh, the reason why they don't do this is that they just automatically say, "Okay, T three, good exchange, yeah, yeah, like this." Yeah, yeah. So you might as well, you know, you might you might as well uh, block directly. Yeah. Oops. Like this, and and then live. Mm -hmm. So White has the solid corner, and um, after this, yeah, they do play this one sente, just to make sure, and. Okay, black eighty or white eighty is is uh is not anywhere nearby. So, or at least I didn't see it on first glance. So we can we can take a guess for, for what it is. Good, good, good. All right. To the left side? That's so... Th my first th feeling is something like Knight's move at E9. Um, or like shoulder hit D6. To lean on the left, right? But what if we play F3? Now you're thinking like Shusaku. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally a Shusaku move. But... Oh, I really wouldn't. 
I really wouldn't myself. Because well, so my reason is like at first you're like okay I want to lean on the left to get some kind of thickness to help with this attack on the two stones, but I'm not yeah, really yeah. seeing what I get from attacking. So just mm-hmm. leave it weak, and then maybe we'll get something from attacking it later and just go to a big place. And I think that's the biggest place on the board. Sure, sure. Interesting. I would be thinking, bam, attack, oh. go. Oh shit. Ask him to live. <laughs> I mean, do something. I I just jumped here. I mean, I didn't. But if I just jumped yeah. here, you 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 know I'm doing this. <laughs> like, it is Shusaku, and it, it was supposed to be an easy win. Holy shit, he's played your move. Oh my fucking god, dude. What? Go Sagan says, keeping Sente to play this move was the objective of White's strategy with the jump. Note that once again, White passes up the attacking move, which in this case would be... Uh, not mine, but this one. Ah. Sure. <laughs> Fusaku play, I guess. Alright, fine. Ooh. So black then peeps and turns here. Yeah. 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 And what do you do now? How are you gonna keep up the keep up this strategy? I was thinking C seven. C seven. So you you want to aim at the corner and then you want to invade that uh, that left side. Yeah. Let's see. But. We could keep pressure on black and just, uh, ah, I don't know. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like C7. Hmm. I don't really like C7, <laughs> personally, because okay. I still regard this as something relatively strong, and this is something relatively strong. So you break some territory, but then you're going to go on defense here. And mm. that means, uh, how are you going to attack that, right? Yeah. How are you going to prove that, that, that that's weak? Uh... What is, where is, where is the game move? Ah, he just plays endgame. Ah. That's sensible to me. This was a really big endgame, right? This yeah. is uh, preventing all the things going on over there. Also, and, he gets uh, weaker now, too. Yeah, now black is weaker, so you can say, okay, black, you spend the move on the left side. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's that big, right? Yeah. So you do it. Yeah. Oh, that's super, that's nice. Wow. Mm-hmm. I guess this is something that we should think of too, right? Uh, I, I think both of us never really play early endgame very much. <laughs> but uh, this kind of early endgame is saying, okay, I can play a mid-game move like this, uh, or some mid-game move like this, but all of them look bad. Mm-hmm. So why don't I give you those moves? And I take the big endgame move, right? So I, basically when you have a difficult position, you can give your opponent a difficult position from the same board if it's this kind of thing, right? <laughs> So you just pass, right? You just say, say some big end game somewhere and say you do it, <laughs> right? True, that's good. Here, here, here. Yeah, and then Black did this one. Ah, yep. Which feels like AI would not like it, right? Um, but what else is he supposed to do? Yeah, I have a feeling even they understood. Yeah, Black probably isn't that happy about this, but uh, what else do you do, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, now, now is white. I like really want to press the left. Everything's on the third line. I really want a shoulder hit. Uh, like, so bad. Hmm. I want a d6. So, basically, the reason why you want a d6 is because if this happens, it's amazing for you, right? There's so, no way in hell no. that Ote Yuzo is playing that way as black in a no Komi game where he thinks he's behind. 100% he's pushing up, right? Really drunk. Then did you really press the left down? Then I feel like we get a nice stone to help with the fighting in the center. Okay, and then he plays a stone in the center. What was the point? <sighs> oh, I guess. <laughs> oh. We just get nothing? Yeah. I think you just get nothing. Ah, uh, that's true. So, you know, pressing down, I think, is uh, something that we should consider more often when 
we think the opponent would actually block, right? In this case, if he if he doesn't block, then pressing down is probably something we should get rid of from our dictionary. It feels like because uh, of course he's not going to block. It, he's not going to defend that. Yeah, it feels like you. Feels like Q Q play, right? Yeah. In Q play, the other guy blocks, so you should do this. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. I agree. So instead, instead, um, end game again. End game again. I I wonder if it's worth it to spend some kind of move at the top in like because he spent all those moves to like make our group at the right. top a little weaker. Right, I've been looking at it. If you play like G18, the problem is that F18 is useful for, mm-hmm. for, for black on the upper side. So I think O18 is the better one. Yeah. But I also find it a little weird to play that like right now. But mm-hmm. maybe. Ah, it's the game move actually. Wow. Wow, interesting. Okay. White 88 is a declaration of victory <laughs> by Shusaku. White's natural continuation at the bottom would be attacking black with the jump mm. yeah but apparently that is not necessary shusaku's judgment is that eliminating the bad algae at the top is sufficient in addition to the sequence given by go so we can we can look at what might Audrey there might have been um so go Sagan says that can play this peep and then this peep and then this so you have to cut like right you have mm-hmm. to cut like this then here here you can see where this is going right i yes alive is that bad so, uh, aji or are we just dead bro <laughs> i mean yeah <laughs> hello aji right um so go second says back and invade at one and live with the sequence to 11 we can save his group with the sequence let's let's show the sequence here here uh, here uh, here here yeah However, the sequence shown here is just one of many possibilities that Black White might well have a more dangerous attack. So hmm. Go Sagan says, maybe this is not enough for Black. <laughs> oh uh, since the God. overall position is developing nicely for White, it would have been a good idea for him to eliminate this Aji. And he says that, um, let's see, he says that back at, uh, at, at around move 50. So that's around uh, this point when he was suggesting this move. Mm. Um, yeah he says this is one sequence that Black could try and he might even have something better so he would have played here to, to fix all that stuff okay so that's kind of a cool watch right that's awesome also neither of us really saw the supposedly natural move here <laughs> Yeah, this one which does look natural once you see it right yeah. you're like yeah that's the natural move <laughs> for sure um Yeah, once you play a move like that, then I can feel a lot better about C7 kind of invading, right? Mm-hmm. So this is attacking to actually gain something rather than pressing, right? I like this. Yeah. This F5. Worth learning from. Okay. Um, so I played here in the game. And... Yeah. I love that move. So, I love it so much. Some These moves are so awesome. The top left to end game, descending here, F3. I mean, the, how he handled the right side, it's also cool. I like it. <clears throat> oh, actually, Takagawa. So there's another dude who gave some some more commentary on Aji at the top. Mm. He says, you can play this move first. Ah. And the point is, okay, you want to play here, then I peep you, and I play here first. So I'm threatening to connect, right? You want to answer me, then I cut you, and I kill you. What it means is after after this peep, it's not like any of this could you could do better. You're like, what are you gonna do? Not answer this peep? Uh, you're a clown, right? So this one, you have to answer the peep here. Then it would be three, four, five. Uh, connecting here, and you can sort of see that that uh, White is already getting in trouble. White can do this and then this to ask to connect, and then here to live. And so, um, Black is able to take some 10 points in endgame profit, but White can live. Anyway, the conclusion from, from both of these is that White was able to, to take, you know, to, to take the attack, to handle the attack, uh, if he just did this one instead. 
And so the conclusion is that weight 88 is not essential, but playing it keeps weight ahead in territory. The only remaining problem is what will happen in the center. So it says go skating. I think this is like a textbook example of how uh, EU plays as well. EU plays a lot like this a lot of the time. Really? Where they just take, they take territory and say, uh, you know, if I'm ahead and I take territory, how are you going to beat me? Wait, you have to actually do something against them, right? Yeah. You have to actually find something. And so most games, the EU beats NA. It's, it's uh, maybe it's like O18, maybe it's like B14, these kinds of hmm. Um, these kinds of offenders. Okay. So black um, plays in the center. Okay. This is 990. And 91 was here. Ooh. Which is an exciting move. This is black clearly saying, saying he, he agrees with the shoe soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ahead when you do this. Are you still going to be ahead when I get this much? <laughs> right? Yeah. So this move's trying to get territory in the center? That's what it's doing? All right. Um, uh, get territory in the center, but also, you know, assist these stones in some way, right? Yeah. And he's still saying, okay, wait, you go ahead, play on Dame over here or over here. And let me just get something, right? As mm -hmm. long as I get something, then, uh, you know, the white moves aren't really something here. Yeah. Oh, so, interesting. How to play his weight. Yeah. I saw weight actually just did some exchanges. So this, this, and this happened. Okay. Oh, and uh, accidentally even saw one more move, which I wouldn't have thought of. Damn. Extending. Just you wouldn't have thought of that. I wouldn't have thought of it. I really? wouldn't have thought of it. That if was... I'm going to play here, I'm going to do this one, or I'm going to do like this. Not Sorry, not that, but camp. Mm. Something, something like that. Right? I wouldn't have thought of just chilling. But Shusaku is chill, right? Shusaku is saying, I'm ahead. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, why did he play? Why did he play this exchange first? I guess it was just to make this sente. And then the, this, in the end, it gives him some push and cut Aji, right? Which can actually mm -hmm. be really annoying. Really, really annoying. Oh, wow. It's really, really annoying. So if you just go here, I'm reading this, this, um, this one. So, so uh, maybe it'll be this one, right? Yeah. So if you just go here, then it'll be some net, right? And then if you go here, then uh, this, this, this. You can't tane, right? And if you go here, then I do this. And if, even though you go there, um, you here, here, here. I guess you win by one liberty. Huh. Oh, never mind, never mind. I misread the liberty race from afar. Okay, but still the Aji is there for sure. It means, okay, you, you maybe you would push and cut this one then. And after this connect here, then I have this one in Sente at least. Right? Anyway, that the, the point is, this shape is value for weight, right? So I guess it's good to, to set that up and, and pull back here and gain that value for real. Yeah. Is this where Black actually played in the game? Oh. No, no, no. Right, well, maybe it is, but I didn't see. <laughs> Hmm. Where would you play? Uh, I would play a terrible move that contains horrendous RG, like L9. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah that's I, a good way to try to fight back, actually. That's yeah. what I would consider. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I expect Ota Yuzo to play here because Edo area. Mm. area. And it fixes the cut. Let's see. What does he what does he do? Ninety seven is your move. No shit. No way, dude. Yep. He's feeling behind then if he's playing something like that. Wow. Com go take his commentary. Black's only hope is to go for a large center, but white reduces with 98, etc., then invades the left side with 104, so black does not make any leeway. Now we have to do Shusaku's work, right? We have to reduce with 98, etc., and then invade the left side with 104. Oh. How are we going to do it? Ah. <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, 
Okay. Mm. Yeah. There's so many options. I wonder if Shusuku just jumps E6. Yeah, I was thinking about it too. But I feel like if you play E6, Black is F7ing you, right? 100%. F7. Mm -hmm. So why not play F6? F6. Oh, that's, I like that too. Yeah, and if black goes to the center, you'd be able to like play d6 or something. Right. Yeah, that's cool. That's true. Or maybe even push a few times and invade c7. Because black's upper left is weak. And I was also looking um, at like e9 as some kind mm. of move, but I don't... He probably just pushes, right? Uh, e9 is definitely going to get push cut, right? So you better be able to fight with that. I think you can set it up though. Okay, mm. Shusaku's move was here. Ah. So this is saying, just like I was, C7, but he's actually setting up like a normal human being rather than playing some random move like F6 and pretending it sets it up, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is just smart. And back shoulder hit here in the game, which makes sense. Now what? Do we um push push F seven once? I wouldn't really want to, personally. Because I can play a move like G six and can try to come in later, or I can play moves like H five. If I push you once I and then play play H five later, it just sucks, right? Yeah. Because you already have some stones. Mm. What does he play? What does he play? He does push. Never mind. <laughs> he pushes in place here. Pushing oh, but this meeting. The point is, you do this, then uh, what are you doing, buddy? Right? Yeah. So, yeah, black can't do that, then this one, then you still have the cut. Right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you want. And black is. So. Actually, pushing Hane is, is sensible because he's tactically aware of the cut existing, right? Uh-huh. Uh, so push and Hane because he knows that he has the cut, so he can reduce like this and he has value. So... That's kind of cool, right? Yeah. yeah. I would have discarded it. So black just plays here and then white invades the left with 104 was said earlier, right? So it has to be this now. Yeah, that's the game. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, Gosegan's commentary earlier was that Black didn't really gain anything in the center because uh, his territory got broken here naturally anyway, right? And White still even got a little bit of extra here. So you can't really say that Black has gained over the last few moves, which means that this kind of mission didn't work, right? But it was a good try, yeah? It was mm -hmm. hard for us to deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> us lowly mortals. <laughs> One oh five. Their end game, by the way, is very accurate. I should say, uh, for the most part, it's it's usually very accurate. Uh, however, it's also often very boring, and it takes a long time for me to look at the figure to see where they played every time in the end game. <laughs> so I, I may I may quit after I don't know okay. one hundred thirty five or something. Sure. Okay, so black does this. Actually, white didn't connect. So uh, what did white do? Uh, huh. Didn't I finally connect. found it. 
Yeah, I was looking around. Actually, it makes a total sense bump. now that I see it. <laughs> if you bump, uh, I think you can make bump better. Is is the answer? Hmm. You can make bump better. We push C four first, or oh, we attach B five. That's a move. Ah, damn. So attach here. Damn. And uh, black just connects here. Because if uh, this one, then I think you're getting wrecked this way. Like, you aren't getting wrecked completely, but um, this will become strong sente, that sort of thing. So maybe white would do this first. This would be hella annoying, right? Mm. But then he can connect here anyway. And your group in the corner is getting weak. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no way, right? Mm -hmm. So black connects here, then bump is better. Nice. Right. Look at that sequence. Beautiful. So all it took was me asking you, okay, so first of all, don't connect. Then you find a move, and then how do you make it better? And then you could find it yourself, right? Yeah. But oh. I would never have thought of it in my own game. Oh, absolutely not. Me either. Yeah, like you isolate it as a Sumego, and it's like, okay, anybody can find it, but wow. Just to, to find it in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh. So you just have to never be lax. Your opponent peeps you something like this. You have to say, okay, if I don't connect, what would I do? How and can I make, I make it better? as good as possible? Ah, yeah. How okay. can I make it better? Wow. Never be lax. So this way. Okay, and then black actually continues with uh, 109. This is sensible to live, right? Mm. And uh, white plays here. Still eyeing the, the upper left. That's sente, isn't it? Mm. Uh, it is sente on the lower left as well, yeah. And I need to find 112. Wait, ah. Can we just push and cut? Wait, am I... You meant this push and cut? <laughs> right? So you're talking... No, you're, not. you're talking about the other push and cut, right? Here, here, and... Uh, what, you mean this one? I guess? Yeah. What's wrong with it? So if black captures, then what Sun is reading is... Not this. <laughs> <laughs> is this and then here and uh black is dead yeah so what black would actually do is play here and say okay you took my stones is that a good end game well uh what oh. if I play here now i guess i should have counted eight points yeah that's true okay i wasn't thinking so about shusaku Fuck. shusaku has his eyes on the prize he plays here instead because this was uh, black sente mm -hmm. and really big for you know, for for points and this cut everything is a lot lot better over here now. Wow. Um, so he says it's bigger than the. Uh, this isn't just eight points because there's extra points here, right? Mm -hmm. It's like ten points, maybe twelve. Yeah. So it's actually not that big. I guess when black saves, it's also additional points, so maybe it's more like fifteen. Something like that. Anyway, that obviously gives black the chance to go here, so he takes it. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, let me give you the ghost egg in commentary for, for good fun. Sure. This move makes me eye of invading the corner and capturing four stones by pushing through. Uh, Ishida comments that, uh, black's move in the game is the correct answer. If black defended his four stones, then white would reduce the corner to minimum eye shape with, um, with a figure. So if black played this one directly, um, and then white would play. He wouldn't kill, but he would play here, 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 all in sente, right? Mm -hmm. And so that would be worth ten points in sente for white, while capturing the the black stones is just gote. So therefore, one hundred eleven is correct. Then for these moves, uh, Gosegan says white is taking no chances. Capturing the black stone makes him very solid. The position on the left is complicated, but white is doing his best to simplify it. By Tanuki. Yeah. Hmm. And so then he makes some exchange here. And where is 118? It's so annoying. You can play this Sente at any time, so he chooses now because he's his troll. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> this way. Yeah. Okay. And then White makes his big move here. 
Finally. So black takes his own sente like this. Important not to block. I think we, we would block automatically, right? But then you block, then this happens. Or wait. Um, hang on a second. Yeah. So, all right, let's see Ghost Sagan's commentary. If uh, white plays this one, then black would do this and this, and then aim at J18. That's the, that's the reason. Nice. That's exciting, right? Yeah, it is. So instead of doing that just here, Shusaku's in full I win mode, right? <laughs> he, he doesn't even care. Uh, black does this later, but okay, whatever. We'll, we'll put in the accurate sequence in the game. Uh, so that's one twenty five. So black then chooses this moment to come back over here, get the center territory, and uh, wait reduces it one more step like this, and takes his big move here. Oh, that's huge. So the point is, yeah. yeah other other than that, if you played like that one, then uh, you're getting you're getting dusted. So here's a big move. And back to this one. And final move of the figure back plays here. Hmm. Uh so yeah, I'll just show what's okay, wait. Defense like this, he's all connected, and black plays here, and white. Just is is casually pushing through. He isn't even really trying to cut. He's just sort of casually casually cutting. Right? And um, when back does that one, wait, chills on this side. <laughs> you can see okay. how passive uh, Shusaku is being. It's because he he wins, right? He's he's totally counted. He knows completely that he wins. And in light of how easily all of this has gone, it makes total sense that you jump there and that you you know do this stuff and that you take the F three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Did they just end well, game? Well, there's any another hundred moves. There's another hundred moves, and then in the end, White wins by three points. Wow. Yeah. This was. And uh, so I'll give the yeah. the final commentary by Go Sagan. Then sure. we can wrap up with our own thoughts. Yeah. Yuzo made no mistakes in the end game, and in fact, he probably caught up a little since Shusaku played so conservatively. But the game did, after all, seem to have been decided when White blocked at 88. And we blocked here. Mm. This game was a masterpiece for Chusaku, but Yuzo must have been rather disappointed with his play. Chusaku gave him no chance to make use of his fighting strength. Ota Yuzo is a fighter player, by the way. Yeah. Oh. For Japanese out of here. So not that much. But <laughs> <laughs> Chusaku wrote regularly to his parents, informing them of the results in his important games. He described the present game as follows in the letters to his father. When Black played 87 in figure 2, let's go back there. So this is the key point, right? The game, according to them. When Black played here, when Black played 87, I realized that White already had more territory and I played safe with 88. With this win, I took a four-game lead. It is a game that I am proud of, says Yusaku. Feels good, man. There is also a brief but interesting comment by Shua on the new variation in figure 1, so on the Joseki. Um, oh. to the effect that Black should have played uh, this one. So Shua himself this, uh, uh, anticipated this sort of thing happening um, directly. as like He saw the game and he's like, oh yeah, C18. Mm. An incredible, incredible level of play. Right? Wow. Yeah. With this win, Shusaku went to a lead of 10 games to 6 with one draw and forced Yuzo to the handicap of Black White Black. This must, it must have been quite a blow to Yuzo's pride since he had considered himself the only player capable of standing up to the Honunbo. His play in the next couple of games shows that it took him a while to regain his equilibrium. And actually, I saw the next game or two, and Yuzo just, like, uh, inted. I mean, he did really good stuff. <laughs> Got blown out. He, he just he tilted really... off the fucking planet, dude. He, he blew out himself. It's like one of my games where... Uh, I just like totally destroy myself in the first <laughs> first fighting, right? It's not even that my opponent destroyed me and put me under pressure. I'm just like, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, and then I kill myself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. He ran so that's what Yuzo did after this game. He was tilted. He was tilted. So yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on this game? 
Wow, I thought it was really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I really liked the play style of both players. Um, I, I thought it was really cool how, like, okay, this, the slow-seeming moves were, like, I mean, like, we could kind of, like, look at it and feel, oh, that's slow, like, Lax moves in the opening or something. But, like, right. you showed that, like, variation where it's, like, they're slow. They're not slow. They're solid. Like, there is actual real Aji that we're defending against when we, like, extend at N14. Like, this isn't right. just a move that's, oh, getting, like, this invisible thickness. This is, there is Aji. I'm defending it. Like for he's tactically aware of yeah, this stuff, right? Yeah, and then he defends. So exactly, yeah. it's not just like oh, it feels. It's like there is scientific, like you know, like there's actual <laughs> yeah. variations that he has read out that make him play this move. And then like the direction was awesome. I like this is the thing that I've been like really focused on was like middle game direction. So like the right. connect at Q four, um, by white whenever black was reducing was like just kind of like an intuitively nothing crazy probably even bad ai standards but just like that idea and direction was super nice and i feel like that occurred a few times like a move that's like that um right where okay probably even like not even a good move but the idea and the feeling behind it is like uh oh the, like you want the direction it's like a direction and feeling move like right 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 um yeah awesome i i feel like it's instructive I, didn't you say something like Shusaku's games are like something like you can like they're, they're, they're totally what I learned to to finally you know AI is always overdrive mode it's always maximum it's like uh, you mm -hmm. know if you look at the AI's moves this is how you you know how you take a, a team of professionals in a room and, and say put as much pressure as you possibly can as on the other guy and you can research for two months and that's what the ai shows you right? <laughs> so that's that's not you know that's not the chill normal go so if you want to learn normal go you can look at edo period games and um i think it's a it's a very good teacher for um you know the 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 normal state that you should be able to fall back on in your game mm -hmm. when uh you know when you're thinking maximum overdrive and you can't really make it work all the time right yeah um and, so for like, me it's been a, a massive help yeah and every single move it's like okay we have a, an objective how do we do it but how do we do it the best like yeah exactly that that's cool and it's like yeah and it might not be the best, but it's like they're trying, and there's logic, and there's reasons and stuff, which is instructive. If yeah, it's, it's the it's the 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 normal best, you know. Yeah. It's the it, what's just the you know the the standard way to play for uh, <clears throat> the leading player of 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 the age, right? Yeah, <laughs> of the 1850s. And what's you know um, when it when it gets to some complications, then their their fighting is all very. Um, is all very direct. You know, I, I, I mentioned earlier with the mm. um, with the Q14 move, how I, they probably wouldn't play it because they, they believe in the thing. Yeah. Basically, they're, they're fighting like this isn't going to be like, uh, you have potential weakness there and potential weakness there, so maybe I'll be able to use it somehow. They say, I read it or it doesn't work, right? Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I read that this kind of thing exists. So their, their fighting is so... Um, so much more Honest. comprehensible because of that than the modern pros who, who you know, sometimes they'll just, they'll, they'll play a move saying, I become thicker and you're, you're you know, you, you have some weakness there that is going to pay off for me, which is the correct way to play Go, but it's so hard to understand, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, probably I don't want to do too many more games from, from Invincible itself in this. Like we could do another one or two. Uh, oh, that's but, fine. Like, I don't really want to spoil the whole book for. Um... <laughs> no, I actually want to for... get it. I um I went on Amazon, and I looked for the book, but of course there was no copies available that I could um, see. Like at least I don't really know how Amazon works. Like there was a f some for sale, but I don't I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. but I actually so, <laughs> I saw there was um Guli versus Isedol Relentless, um which is yeah like, yeah yeah. I bought that. I bought that like last night nice. at twelve at midnight. I, I got tilted, <laughs> and I anger bought that book because I was <laughs> I looked for Invincible and I couldn't get it. And I anger bought the book. 
<laughs> but actually, at least it's all good league games are great. I was planning on, uh, I was planning on on doing one of those pretty soon, actually. On, oh, because uh, because those games as well, they have actually lots of commentary as well, just that you, that we can access ourselves. Okay, which is I think nice. To it was kind of nice to to. Um, this time when we had Ghost Sagan to, to tell us, so oh, this is just because he's saying he's yeah. ahead here and that sort yeah. of stuff, so we can misinterpret. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Shusaku yeah, so is great at balance. Love it. That's oh, sorry, I was reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least the dog Guli will be um, will, will will be a fantastic book. I guarantee it. <laughs> That's good. The I, I Go Gentleman has a couple of VODs reviewing these games. Maybe you you would be interested. I don't know if you've seen the Go Gentleman VODs. They're fantastic. Anyway. I've heard people talk about them, but I never watched when he streamed and never never mm-hmm. saw any of it. Unfortunately. Yeah. So, do we have any idea for next week if we want to do the the Baby Pro, the Nakamura Sumire games or um, not? Yeah, we might do that next week. I don't know if you if you would like to. Yeah, no, I, I honestly, I would, I'd be down. I'd be excited. I think it'd be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Cool. There's a Go Gentleman VOD of Guli versus Lisa Doll. Some review for, for 40 minutes. It's oh. fantastic. Yeah, you know what? I'll mod you. You mod at me in your channel. I mean, it's oh, only dang. fair. I, yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting that you've, you've banded the... Uh, you've, you've banned yeah, you the, links. the links. All right. I can um, finally post Pornhub links. Feels good, <laughs> feels good man. <laughs> so cool. Hey, what's up, Creakers? How you doing? Um, but yeah, uh, so I look forward to that next week. I'm not going to be streaming or... I'll be around. Like, I actually... I signed up for a few Patreons for like mm, yeah. for games with pros. I, I signed up for Biba and for Yoon Young's Patreon. So I you might you guys might see me playing games like if they're streaming it. Um... I think tomorrow I'm oh, playing Biba a game. And you know. Yeah. It's oh, incredible, actually. This is it going to be hype? Are you going to stream it? Or are you going to tie hard? I'm going to stream not this week, but next week. So, because I'm going to be good studying luck. all this week and I'll, I'll be around, but yeah. All right, all right. Good luck. All good right. luck. Well, anyways, Telegraph, uh, I'll see you. That was fun. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Play just like Chusaku versus you next tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get rolled. You'll have handicap, right? I mean, Shusaku yeah. is really, really good at winning with handicap. Three he stones. Never loses back. Yeah. I'll, I'll try. I'm going to I'm gonna try to win. I'm going to, like, approach it like I'm playing a, a Fox 7 down. And, like, just, like, act, pretend like I can win. That's the goal. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> wait. I, uh... Oh, wait, you know, I'm playing Blackie or, yeah, tomorrow. I forget. It's all confused in my head. Anyways. Anyway, good luck. I hope you enjoy. Uh, and uh, see you. See you next week. Yeah, man. Later. Take it easy.